Good afternoon, I am Kavina Bevikrama from the Aeronautics Society of Royal College, Kalambu 7 and I will be your host today. Before we start today's event, I would like to remind our participants to keep their microphones muted and refrain from typing in the chat unless asked by our speaker to ensure clarity and cause no disturbance to others as well as the speaker. Firstly, the welcome speech. I'd like to welcome our principal. Mr. P. A. S. P. Jayalath, the Senior Master of Clubs and Societies, Mr. T. D. C. P. Amrasunga, our teacher in charge, Mr. W. H. A. D. Sumanga, members of the Prefix Council of Royal College, our chief guest for the event, Captain Harsha Koralearachi, as well as Chairman and Top Board of the Aeronautic Society. And last but not least, I would like to warmly welcome all of our participants present here today to the first day of the Royal Kite Air Show 2022. Now, I would like to introduce, introduce you to our guest speaker. Captain Harsha Govind Korelarachi is a professional aviator and a qualified theoretical instructor pilot for transport pilot licensing of both airplanes and helicopters by the Civil Aviation Authority of Sri Lanka. He is the founder and head of training at the Ravana Aviation Academy as well as the founder of Aviation Archaeology in Sri Lanka. So, without further ado, I would like to invite Captain Harsha Kordalarachi to begin his presentation. On to you, sir. Thank you very much, Kavindu. Uh, I, Bowan, Marakkam, Assalamu Alaikum. Good afternoon to you. First of all, uh, I would like to thank the principal, sir, and the vice principal and senior game uh, master of club and the Society of Royal College, and especially uh, chairman of the United Society of Royal College and the secretary and board members. And uh, because of you, today I'm going to do this uh, session. We actually planned in la from last year. We did one session in last year as uh, the lost world. So this is the from their uh, extend program. So I want to share my screen. Yeah, can you see my screen? Yes, sir. It's visible. Okay. Now, before I'm starting this uh, lecture, I would like to give a small briefing regarding how you have what how do you make sure these things into your mind you have to note down whenever you require if there are any gray areas you may have questions so there you have to note down in the suggestion sometime in between i will ask you to raise your questions so then you can raise your question something like that we can do very 
uh, easy way. This is not the hard and fast rule. Uh, this is uh, basically we are going to learn the nature and uh, I am going to groom you how to communicate with this guy. Anyway, we'll see that our program, this program consists of three days. And as I, uh, we planned, the first day, two days, the communication, communicate with this guy. The second day, design a 3D and 4D guy. This is uh, what we want to do uh, final as a tumor. And the third day, the making 3D kite and a flight. The vision of the Royal Kite Tear Show. This is not that the kite the festival that you have seen and that you uh, experience in, the, in your life. This is Kite Tear Show. First time in Sri Lanka, Tear Show. Uh, in between, in there, you have a technical uh, knowledge. And the vision of this Kite Tear Show aligns Sri Lankan students with the national in interest. Why I'm saying? Now we know that uh, Sri Lankan students, they are getting their free education after the, they got the education, maybe their degrees. Most of the students, they are not being in Sri Lanka, cancelled Sri Lanka, they will abroad. Brain, brain will see. Now mission, educate and uh, train Royal College students as national responsible citizen. Now we have to train you, uh, align with the uh, Sri Lankan uh, interests uh, presently, we know that we have a huge problem, power crisis. Now, if you see in this uh, sky and communicate with this sky, you can generate electricity. So our, the electricity, electrical engineers and the professionals and they do catch this, they have to understand this. So they are, as uh, the first step, what we are going to do is we are going to show the royalists can do. Here, the objectives of the uh, uh, the kite has to build up the positive attitude towards the nature-related concepts. So there are so many concepts are uh, in this world. So where they came, that is, they came from the nature. So we have to make sure your attitude also towards the nature. And to build up the nature-related research mentality, we have to do the research through the nature, not uh, not only stick into that, uh, what you have as a book or whatever you learn so far. Uh, and third one is uh, to build up the enthusiasm to explore the historical texts and to interpret the unrevealed concept. Now, whatever the ancient, uh, the scripts, uh, we call the documents, they have written with the knowledge of the extra knowledge from the natures, very important. We have to read those things again in different uh, mindset. And the fourth one is to practice, think out of the box. The most of the students we know, because of the education system, they are not think out of the box. They only strain into that uh, what they have learned. So what they taught. So this is not the way we have to do. We have to uh, think out of the box and find solutions. Uh, fifth one to develop innovativeness and the sixth one to improve the creativeness. Now, what is the nature? Very simply, you can see that uh, whatever the, uh, what you can see in this planet Earth, hmm, other than the human creation, is we call nature. Now, creation is another important thing when you come to the Oxford history saying like this. The act or the process of making something that is, or of uh, causing something to exist that did not exist. So creation, creation can do with the proper, knowledge, where you can get the knowledge. It is not only the book, you have to get from the knowledge, get knowledge from the nation. Anyway, the knowledge. So as I said you, knowledge, it may be expert in that uh, one particular subject. We can say like that by experience and you have this knowledge. Someone have learned those things in your style, maybe by the teachers, some book when you are reading, you can have this knowledge. So this is the knowledge, but it's not exact knowledge, but we are referring. So this knowledge is we are talking about the nature. Now, from where did this knowledge uh, come to come into this world? So we have to think about. So we can say through our ancestors, because of the ancestors did, so we are doing, following. So through aliens, some beliefs, there are, this knowledge is came through the aliens because some, 
knowledge exists knowledge in this world still is you know that uh, there's no any answer for that where this advanced knowledge came so there are some question and uh, sage through sage because this sage actually we we know that uh, it is they are not a general uh, uh, human being they have lot of knowledge so they documented that knowledge and we are referring so if you go to the india like veda we have 18 vedas so that when you read that vedas they it mention what you have to do for example in aviation in the ancient aviation aeronautics we call uh, they are uh, it's veda we have when you go to this uh, fourth one through unforeseen forces there are some places we know that they follow whatever the kapwa we say that uh, they, they are saying that uh, the unforeseen forces telling there some information about how to, the knowledge hmm? then through unrevealed energy so universal energy through universal energy this what is this universal energy again there is a, a question we will see that now if you uh, put in these two, two boxes i referring on this uh, left hand side through our ancestors and through our sage now keep it uh, yellow box is like that we'll discuss later on now how uh, this nature they sage and our ancestors they got they got this knowledge from the nature so communicate with the nature is very important how you going to do this so they are the subject is very important the subject is you have to make sure your discipline we call seal in the term you have in the pali seal focusing attention so that is focus attention that is we call samadhi so then uh, uh, so there you can have the attention whatever your senses should be attention to that uh, focus what you want so wisdom come now we call prajna for example i'm telling you when you are tv tell and say you be doing it yeah someone has a switch on and yeah switch on is mic please uh, uh, mute your mic uh the so wisdom this wisdom is not the knowledge i'm telling you through the wisdom you have to establish your knowledge for example when you are when you want to talk to talk with the sky what you have to do is what you have to do is first you have to make a discipline okay you are looking the sky yes discipline without doing doing anything you are looking into sky then force for uh, focus attention so whatever senses we have six senses you now with your mind can you force focus and then the prachna we call the wisdom come so then you can establish your knowledge that is the way we have to establish your knowledge here then uh, here is saying that ability experience and knowledge the experience is basically now uh, uh, when you dealing with the nature so for example we take as a Uh, kite, you are making kite, and you want to fly, but it won't fly. Reason: the sky is not allow you to fly. So he's saying that uh, no, this is not balanced. So then, what you have to do? You have to change that setup and the configuration. So again, you have fix and you fly. Sometimes you may have to trial, maybe hundred times. We don't know, but that is the experience. That is the. the wisdom through the wisdom knowledge established it's very important by experience so very important so you have to do now creation uh, and innovation so creation or the innovation of the human being is another important thing in this world again this is what i want to tell you now gentlemen you have to understand the creation or innovations come through what the knowledge so if you are trying to create to innovate through what you have in your book it will not work i'm telling you 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 are in a same box and circling and find something new no you don't have 
you have to find new knowledge through the wisdom. How are you going to create the wisdom, step the wisdom? First, you have to discipline, then focus attention, then the prachna wisdom stuff. Very important. So there, you know the five senses, it's only your five senses, you can have a lot of things. Now, how I uh, how do I get knowledge from the mother nature? So there, are, first of all, we have to identify what are the elements of the nature. And these things actually I'm doing very fastly because last time also we did some extend. So this is the recap of the what we did. So there you can see earth, water, fire, air, and space. So that is uh, the the combination, whatever the of these five, you have the basic element in your uh, these three theaters. Sky is one other theater, earth and sea. You have, for example, when you go to this sky, when you are seeing the sky, when you're flying through the sky, so you can see some particles, water, vapors, hmm? and you can see that uh, you feel that your temperature getting decreased. Very, very important. And sometimes you may have seen the sky is getting uh, the red color. Hmm? Some in morning time, you have the hazy conditions because of this dust. There are so many things you can understand. Their knowledge is there, but with this uh, change of these elements, as I explained in the earlier slide. Here, space, air, fire, both, and earth. Now, as I told you, anywhere in this nature, you can establish your wisdom as I explained you, first discipline, then uh, focus and attention, then you can have the prajna. Like that, you have, to, you have to talk to this sky, talk to this nature, talk to this trees, you can find some information. For example, this one, by seeing this, you're flying, flying this, balloon. but it's not like that. You have to talk to this, as I explained earlier. We did this the last year also. Share. Now you can see the dry leaves flying, the way it flies. So you have to talk to, then you can understand. Now, for example, when you are looking at this uh, coconut tree and how it moves these leaves, uh, it is not just, there's so many knowledge is there. So if you take this eagle, we call an eagle leaves, and both then, uh, you can see it's like a, here, I can show you, you look at my uh, beam, uh, video here, camera, this is eagle, and the leaves is there. If you take the uh, left and right, same edge eagle, it's like the wing of the aircraft. It's, it's there you have the aerofoil shape. But you're seeing in the aircraft, if you take into that these two leaves into together, and you can see there's some aerofoil shape. So that is how you're going to learn. Very important. So here, the mountain range, lot of information, knowledge sky, the change in every time is changed. Nighttime, huge information you have. You have talked to this nighttime sky. Did you talk to these uh, stars? You have to do. It, it will give some information, you know that. But I'm going to, as I explained you, the sequence, discipline, they call sila samadhi pratna. Hmm? Discipline, focus, attention, and wisdom. Now, when you are doing this, you will catch undiscovered knowledge of Mother Nature. So that will be the innovations we call. Yeah. Now, 
last time also I last year also I explained this one. This is pollen actually, the microscopic uh, images. And you see the difference, so many, some relative pictures there, images there. We call UFO here. You know, this pollen is flying thousand kilometers. Can you see the squills? It change all, always change the temperature. Temperature changes, it flies thousand kilometers. 3D model. You can, yeah, the second picture, image of this color. So this is actually exactly the uh, aerofoil and the aerodynamically shape. You can use these shapes. Now, what to gain finally, this education, which knowledge is advanced actually, what we gain from this as a 21st century is, uh, we, we can say, compared with mother nature, there is very limited knowledge. We have to explore a lot of areas in this nature and establish. Now, in the last time, last year, actually, it, uh, almost one year, it was held in 24th of July 2021. The communicate with the sky, particular station one, making a glider by using a dry leaf. So I think you have done. So here like this. You take the, any leaves, this is a mango leaf I took, and you can change its configuration and try to fly. It should be glider. Glider itself, you try to make sure changing of the format and cutting edges and removing some part of the leaves and try to fly. So if you can make more a long range, so that is how you can understand establish the wisdom through the discipline. This is one uh, practice, uh, practice system that I gave last time. This time also you can practice this one. And second one is, uh, this is a making a controllable paper aeroplane. Here, this paper aeroplane is another element you can fly and you can communicate with, with this sky. If they are. So here, I can show you. So you have you know that how to make this paper aeroplane. Not a big issue. But only thing is when you make the balance here, the, the other side that you have the fall. So you can keep the safety pin like this. In that safety pin, there's a spring now. You have to remove the spring. And you can make some kind of you know that like a loop here. I'll show that. See, in this safety pin, you don't have the spring. Can you see? So then it, it nicely plays here. You can fly. Yeah. <clears throat> so you can see that you can have to place that safety pin. You, you know that you can do a lot of manuals I'm telling you. If you want, you can make the, some battery, battery pack in your pocket and make some uh, wire there and you can make the uh, LED bulbs. In the night time also you can fly. And the great circle, the great circle, if you take the maximum length of your cord, so that is the great circle. When you are uh, taking it to your side, you can make the small circle. You can fly line, both horizontal and the vertical, loops, rolls, spins, hammers. These are the maneuvers you can do. Huh? Now, <clears throat> today, how to build a conventional type? You know that uh, we, we can see that everywhere in this uh, day, 
this time this season this is the uh, kite season uh, 2d kite conventional kites the concept and the theories now main two properties of a kite you should take that uh, lightweight before material to be used now kite should be lightweight otherwise you can fly too so there are the material is a very important thing. You have to select the lightweight material. Advantage is high airborne capability. Hmm? Now, easy to fly, second main property. That is based on the kite designing. Advantage, increase the flying steadiness. When you are flying, it should be steady. It's very easy to maneuver and control. And here uh, you can see uh, a light weight, more strengthened. We call, you can see in your first line, wing of an aircraft. So there's some kind of pattern and space inside of this wing. We call honeycomb structure. So where this knowledge came? The aeronautical engineers, they built this structure. The knowledge started from nature. You can see the bottom, the picture that is born wing of the bird. The light fit, but the strength is high. More strength, we call honeycomb structure. The technical word, very important for you. Now, where you can get this type of uh, structure? Similar nature materials, we call fishtail palm tree. Ariota urane steel, that is the scientific name. Anyway, here you can see to my uh, camera, this is the uh, one of the, this uh, fishtail palm tree. So you can take this stick, to, as a material, the material structure, same as that honeycomb. But I'm suggesting to you, you can find many. You have to explore this nature and find which one is a good. Now, bamboo tree, we call bambusa, the uh, scientific name. When you cut this bamboo tree and take this piece of bamboo tree, I've seen that uh, inside of this structure, that is honeycomb structure. You have to take, you can have the sticks, bamboo stick, for as a material. And we call coconut eagle, focus uh, nosifera, the scientific name. You can have this one. This is also very light, but very heavy, not heavy, uh, strength. You can make in two or three. Eagle and get to get uh, binding it and can use. Now, when you are designing a kite, uh, there are three very important uh, factors to consider. The kite should be symmetrical. That means if you take the left right, it should be symmetrical. And 2D, the 2D in the sense. We are going to ensure the 3D and 4D. I will explain you how you can do. But we take from the beginning 2D. 2D in sense, when you are exposed to this uh, kite to this uh, sky, there should be a, the length and width, which is as a plate exposed to this uh, wind. So that is the area is communicate with the wind sky. So there should be a 2D. And there's another important uh, technical word we call dihedral. I will explain you. Now you can understand very simply what is this symmetrical. Here, yeah. because it should be balanced. Now, as we learn that uh, you know the kite is not the big issue, we can make the kite and fly. 
the most of the people saying that if you don't have to do anything, you better go and fly a kite. Okay. There, there's some wording like that, you no? Know, saying like that. Go and fly a kite. But it's not like this. This is the art and there's a technical uh, knowledge is there. Everybody can't make a kite and fly. Clear? Yeah. It's not an easy thing. So if you want to become a professional uh, in the aviating future, yes, you have to learn this first. When you design the aircraft in the future, you know what is the, 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 the language, universal language. Clear? Now 2D, as I explained you, take length and width. Hmm? And dihedral, very important. Now, dihedral is a, it's like a, now you can, can you see this wing of the aircraft above this picture, first picture? The wings is actually, it's upward, it's pointing upward, dihedral. Now, when you go, come to this uh, below image, you can see the kite is create the equilibrium. Hmm? Very important. This is how it's work. Now, I would like to attention you to, uh, yes, I'm showing that uh, this aerofoil shape, these wordings are actually not new, this word, aerofoil. The aircraft in shape is like this, aerofoil. So this is the upper wing area, this is the low wing area. When you come to the flying aircraft, the kite is like this, see? Dihedral, see dihedral. Can you see? Dihedral, it's like a shape like this, balancing. So you can learn this through the first practical session. How? You take the leaf, any dry leaf, and try to ensure the glider. The diary itself, you have this uh, dihedral shape. That is very important for, to ensure your stability. Hmm? Now, main three axis of the kite is another important thing. Uh, you may note down uh, the, another small technical wordings, but as I told you, this kite dynamic and neurodynamics are both the same. Now you can practice your own aircraft like that. You can make sure you are on a kite. In future years, of course, you can have your aircraft. Now you can have the kite. Design your kite, 3D, 4D, I'll let you know. Now vertical axis we call here, the vertical axis, and you can have lateral uh, axis and the longitudinal three axis you have here vertical axis, so it's like this. Here, yeah, attention to my uh, camera. Now like this, going like this. So your movement, see, your movement like this, your movement. See, can you see this, your movement? It's going like this, huh? Your movement, your, moving like this, your movement. Now lateral axis <laughs> is like this here. It's going left to right here, like this. It gives you the pitch movement. The kite is moving like down and up. Pitch movement you can have. Pitch movement. Pitch. We call pitch. Pitch up. Like that you can have. And third axis is here. Longitudinal. Now you can from tail to top. Here. Rolling movement of the kite. This main three axis you have in your aircraft also. This Basically, these uh, things described in the aircraft also. Now we are starting from the kite by your own designing kite. Yeah. Rolling movement. Now, the famous turbi kites in Sri Lanka, you know, this baula, we call bat. And uh, kombua. The kombua, this nerve actually I've never heard because from outside of the 
and i've seen that uh, uh, haven't seen that other countries like these shapes tombua the name i think this is designed from uh, sri lankan uh, kite flyers monara peacock and you can have this one this is scale 1 into 4 a to a this is we call the lateral axis you can have 4 inches into 4 we have to multiply by the 4 then you can have this one the longitudinal axis you can have 6 into 4 so this is how you can do you take it and you can make that according to the the three factors we discussed the main three factors should be there one is the symmetrical should be there then 2d yes 2d should be there d we have 1d and 2d uh, longitudinal axis and the lateral axis yes done um like best you have to ensure and how to identify the uh, Uh, bridal point of the 2d type the bridal point is very important now you can see the first uh, image from the left no bridal one point you attach and try to fly no it's not work it's not work the pressure it not distributing and uh, you can't control the pressure of the kite so you can see here two the bridle points is you can have two leg bridle points yes of course from there you can control and if you have more what happen if you more steady we keep in your mind when you want to fly a kite once you made according that uh, the the criteria what i explain you if you have more bridal points it will be steady and it will be controllable you will be fly but it is easy to fly as well yes you can have this picture you can take this thing uh, whatever picture you can take take it and <clears throat> when you are going to fly to this 2d kites what happen there may be some problem So what are this problem now first one your movement problem so you i know that as i explain you your is the involved with this what this vertical axis here yeah keep attention to my camera now you can see this like this your movement so we if you have this your movement what happen strike like, means like going like uh, you see rotating like this what happened you are this bridle point we call toe point toe point is come with the two bridle points and together somewhere they are i explain you like this yeah there is a structure what i made so you can have this is a toe point can you see one bridle point is here and uh, second one is the at the tail of the kite and you can have this toe point store this toe point is away from the the surface of the kite what happen it will trying to rotate like this clear yeah. you have to some extend you have to balance it balance in sense you have to you have to make sure some are there like this firm clear yeah. should be firm like this not more and you have to check the balance of so also now for example if if it is the kite is not a symmetrical what happen one side make more pressure wind pressure so it will it try to fly up when it fly up what happen it go up other way around rotating and if you want to counter this problem as i explain yes third one is uh, you have to add more weight to the tail so here you can add some extend weight and in tail extra tail to this 
uh, bottom of this kite edge. So it will steady them. If you counter, if we have the asymmetrical shape, not a symmetrical, you can say that if it is a, a symmetrical, what happened? So you want to counter. So you make some weight there. So it will be station. Okay. Then what happened that if it is rolling movements problem? Here, yeah. if a kite has a poor battery points, what happened? To an inadequate sticks. Now, you are stick should be very strong, strengthened. For example, if you make in one equals and uh, to both then what happened? Equal will be getting bent with the strength of the wind. So what happened then? It's making some roll. <laughs> so there you have to make sure ensure uh, ensure to make this uh, take the uh, strong the sticks strengthen sticks bamboo tree or something like that. if you want to take the equal yes of course maybe you have to attach and combine two or three equals together and ensure the kite it's very important and when you are flying this kite these are the properties you have to understand and temperature will be decreased. Pressure will be decreased. But wind is increasing. From the surface to upper wind, it will be increased. So that is what we want. When you are coming to this uh, 3D and 4D kites, I will teach you how to ensure the moving part. The moving part itself, what we are going to do? We are going to generate the velocity. It is a royal kite cash show. And we will show that uh, Sri Lankan, the, uh, the engineers, we can do like this as well. There are so many ways we can do. I will teach you. If I say that small thing to you, uh, this Sri Lankan sky, we can generate electricity by using this ionosphere, I'm telling you, take some time. I want to train you to that object to achieve that object. So there first we have to ensure some kind of practical sessions. And uh, at least we have to make the kite and fly first. And uh, I will ensure you are discipline. Hmm? Sila. Then I will ensure you are uh, force, fo focus, attention, samadhi, then prachana. Through your prachana, we will find the solution for this uh, power crisis in future. So making uncontrolled 2D cards. Another important thing is now, as I explained, I show you, we have the conventional cards, Baula, Kombuwa, Monrala, something like that. But unconventional kite in 2D cards is another challenge. You have to communicate. So this university, this university of sky will not pass you because it's unconventional. The circle. So you can see what we are seeing that uh, there an ambassador. We, I did uh, one workshop with to this uh, ambassador uh, uh, staff, and we make some unconventional flights and we fly. Yeah, we flew there. Here. Yeah. How do I make the unconscious 2D kites? So these are the materials you can have. Take the material uh, screenshots and bamboo tree, yellow bamboo sticks, hmm? uh, broom sticks, are not bamboo sticks, broom sticks, and thread and oil tape and glue. First step, <coughs> take the circles like this. You have the here. Uh, Yes. It's uh, five feet. You can take the five feet uh, distance or so 60 inches. Then uh, you can have this circle. This circle uh, material, it should be, you can have uh, bamboo sticks because this is very good bending capacity. You can have. Hmm. And the second step, attach a long bamboo stick pole, long barbie pole, 
20 inches from uh, where you uh, confine this circle, place green color uh, spot and the red color. You can have this one. Exactly, you can. Symmetrical should be there in this both end, left and right. And you can have the short bar 15 inches. So where it's 15 inches uh, attached to this circle, you can see very easily because it should be somewhere placed in both end uh, attached to this circle. Like this. Now, as I explained you, you can see the vital points and the sale when you are going to sales, very important. And this is another important thing. Take this screenshot here. Now we'll learn those things in with the times come, not now. This is uh, uh, you can have a little idea about this, how this kite fly. Now you know the lift is there. Now center is there, drag is there, and gravity. Now gravity is depend on the weight of the uh, kite. So we have to minimize. So then definitely it will fly. It's one of the property, light weight. So gravity and all with these three forces are acting where, four forces are acting where? At the center, where you are, toe point exactly going through. Now you can understand, you have, once you have this Bible points, so there is a, that code, that code where you put the toy in place. So that is, you have to adjust according to this height. The weight is, give you a lot because weight balance should be there. Clear? It is come with the knowledge when you're going to fly. It, you can easily catch this uh, wisdom. Yeah? But take this picture, you can have this screenshot. So then you can easily understand what I want to tell you. Now, by moving the place where you are steering is attached to the kite on the bridle line, you can change the amount of lift that is created. Now you can understand when you are changing this toy in place, you can change the amount of lift you're creating through this kite. kite. Very important place, going place. Here. Yeah. Again, this is very important. Dihedral shape should be there. Now, how are you going to make the dihedral? So, uh, please attention to my camera. Now, you can understand here. Now, if you want to make the dihedral, what you have to do is you can these two edge, this uh, lateral axis, the 15 inches uh, bar you can make the connection from there. So then it will be bendy. So you can see there is a dihedral shape. See, dihedral shape is there, it's very simple. So it's very steady then. Your kite can fly easily. Okay. Where uh, can I make it fly? So another important thing, when you have, want to fly this, uh, you have to, understand the wing pattern, otherwise your kite won't be a problem, but uh, the problem is wing. If it is turbulence is there, you will never fly, you can't fly. Can you see? If you are flying inside of the turbulence, hmm? the right side of the building, what happened? Always the ground draft is there. Your kite is always going down, hit the ground. It won't fly, I'm telling you. You can understand this. This is come through what? Wisdom. Yeah, can you fly over this uh, top of this place? You can't. Reason? A lot of turbulence. The wind pattern moving here and there, not steady because of this irregularity shape. Yes, this is the way you can easily fly. 
rest of the mountain if you put the kite you can just give the uh, thread that's it it will fly steady as I explain you when the winds the winds when, with the increase of height it will be increased so it's very important yeah thank you now uh, uh, this is the time for you to discuss if there are any questions you can uh, raise now and meantime i want to orientate you to have uh, 3d and 4d kite uh, designing before that you have to do these practical sessions anyway it's over to you now Pamindo, yeah, you you can have the questions now. Uh, yes, sir. So, uh, I think uh, there is one person raising the hand. Uh, you can unmute and ask your question. Um, sir, can you uh, show that um, page about the things you need to screenshot? I didn't get a screenshot yet. Yeah, once again, I will, uh, yeah, I will share it now. Now. Uh, anyway, we'll start the first uh, presentation. Can you see my screen now? Yes. Okay, I'll show that you can screen, uh, take the screenshots, huh? We'll go for uh, yeah, 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 yeah. take this one. So I can't take. I don't know how to take a screenshot in my laptop. So can you wait till I write it down quickly? Mm, do you have the phone? No, sir. I mean laptop. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Uh, Mali, if you need to reference this later, we will be uploading this to YouTube. So that's fine. Okay. Ah, that's fine. I guess you can have one video. No? That's good then. Okay, sir. I'm done. Are there any other questions? Ah, okay. yes. Yes, my list. You do like that. I want to show you. Uh, Sihat Mali, we didn't quite hear your question. Uh, if you are sending it to, uh, if you are putting it on YouTube, would you also like put the link to that video in WhatsApp? Yes, Mali, we will put it in a few days. Okay, yeah, thank you. Okay, ma'am. Uh, so, do we have any other questions? <laughs> now, uh, okay then. Then uh, shall we end our session then? Um, I mean, though, yeah, one yes. second. I want to share, yes. share a few more pictures and the video. Yes. And yes, sir. you can uh, go ahead with that. Sorry. Now, can you see my screen now? Yes, sir. Yes. This is the we call the 3D kites. Now, 3D, you know that there's a volume also is showing there. And for instance, there should be a. Uh, excuse me. I can see it. I can see only the material to be used so now i can see 
So your mic is muted. Oh, thank you. Can you see now? Yes. Yes, this is the yes sir. Right. The volume. You, you can see the volume and the height also there. Now here. Now that's a three D. When you come to four D, the moving part also there. The rotating turbines. I'll explain you. Here. See. But if you are, if you are watch this in carefully, you can see the only two D area is exposed to this wind. Very important. A two D shape should be there firmly. Here, two D, two D is the bottom area of the kite, but you can see the volume also. This is only three D kite. Huh? I'm sure that four D as well. Now this is the four D. I have the video clip. I will show us here now. Now this one also you can see the bottom part is. That's two D. That is the exposed area to this beam. And above that, you can see the area, the areas, the volume. But it's not disturbed. That uh, wind pattern should be. You have to understand that it won't be disturbed the wind pattern. But here it's not disturbed the wind pattern. Yeah. This is Valvatore Kite Festival. You have to go there next time. I saw the video clip now. Huh? Can you see that the turbines rotating?
Can you see this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So this is the turbine, wind turbine. You can generate the electricity. Yes. Thank you very much. And I want to show another important thing. Now, when you come to this generating electricity, we can do in different ways. Now, initially, for experiment purpose, you can use this. Uh, can you see? This is. Uh, The computer fan, you can use what they want exactly. And there are so many ways we can establish the kite and uh, ensure the generating electricity. So I will explain next time. So this is uh, how you can do. By the way, you have to understand. You can fi find some videos through uh, YouTube and uh, how to ensure this. Uh, Put a fan convert into generator, DC generator. I mean, hello. Uh, yes, sir. yes, I think uh, today's session is uh, if I wind up now. Okay, so um, yes, so, uh, so yes, thank you very much, Captain Kordarachi, for uh, inspiring words of wisdom. I'm sure many of us learned some very valuable lessons today about kites and like exactly like how and the what of it. And uh, also a reminder to our participants about the quiz. Everyone must fill it and send your answers. You have one hour to answer all 25 questions. And remember, everyone fill it. And the winners of the quiz will also receive special certificates. 
So on that note, I would like to deliver the vote of thanks. So today's event would not have been possible without the help of some very special persons. So I would like to thank our principal, Mr. P. A. S. P. Jayalat, the senior master of clubs and societies, Mr. T. D. C. P. Amratunga, our teacher in charge, Mr. W. H. A. D. Sumanga, members of the Reflex Council of Royal College, and also a very special thank you goes out to our chief guest, Captain Harsha Korlearachi, for taking time out of his busy schedule to share with us his knowledge. And lastly, I would like to thank everyone here for their participation. Have a very pleasant evening.